Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm taking a closer look at the Zeagle Recon Fins. So there is, these are a really tough pair of fins. Uh, they're all made out of a single material. There's no joins or any kind of weak points on it. Obviously, I'd love to have a pair to physically show you uh, sort of in front of me, but with everything that's going on, I can't just nip down to the warehouse, grab some stuff out of stock and then bring it home. Um, so yeah, but we do plan to have um, sort of some kind of system where I can actually get the fins and uh, kind of show you so stay tuned uh, so subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah I will do a another video on the uh, on the recon fins physically showing you them and their sort of benefits but in the meantime we've got plenty of pictures and uh, yeah I can basically describe the fins for you so the main thing about these fins are, yeah, they're made out of a single piece of material. So there's no weak points, they're really tough, they're really hydrodynamic. And um, so these are for all sorts of different divers. Um, more designed for sort of advanced divers who want a really sort of tough, rugged pair of fins. Um, nothing too big, uh, but still have a, a decent amount of thrust moving through them. Um, but they just want something that's pretty bulletproof um, that they never really have to worry about. So starting at the uh, the top of the fins or where your heel uh, sort of would be. So the fin strap itself, so this is a elasticated metal spring heel strap. Uh, now I prefer metal uh, to the sort of the bungee alternatives just because a metal spring, uh, you're not gonna be able to cut through that accidentally. They're really, really strong. Uh, and on the back of it, you have this big, big loop so you can grab hold of it with one hand. Uh, so putting your fins on, it's really quick and easy. You just pull that spring strap over your heel and you're in. The other benefit to it is that as you're descending, as your wetsuit boot or your dry suit boot starts to compress at depth, that metal spring is always going to be sort of holding onto your heel, so your foot's never going to slip and your fin is never going to come off. So they they tick a lot of boxes for me, metal um, heel straps. Foot pocket itself, decent amount of space. On the underside, you'll see it's got uh, sort of ridges on the inside. This is just going to help you get your fins off at the end of the dive. It uh, prevents that kind of suction effect trying to suck your uh, your boot and uh, sort of hold it in it means that the air can get underneath uh, and just makes it a lot easier to get your fins off at the end of the dive either side of that foot pocket you're going to see the beginning of these huge rails that go all the way down towards the tip of the fins there are actually four of these rails uh, sort of on uh, on the fin itself and these are transferring uh, sort of elastic strength and energy from your legs down the uh, length of the fin they're also channeling water so it's not uh, sort of escaping over the sides it's all being channeled down towards the tip of the fin so as you're moving through the water they're very very efficient. Another thing that makes these uh, these fins particularly efficient is their angle of attack. So this is a 25 degree angle of attack. So you've got your foot pocket and then the blade itself just sits at 25 degrees because if you point your foot straight out it's not a perfect 180 degrees your foot's always at a very slight angle so this just compensates for that so it's more efficient in the water so these are great for uh, the traditional sort of flutter kick the scissor kick um, as well as frog kicks and all sorts so these are a great all-rounder uh, no matter sort of what you do in the water these are very very efficient and because they do have those big rails it means that uh, sort of helicopter turns and actually reversing in the water are going to be particularly efficient because you're catching more water and uh, and really sort of moving yourself through. As I said earlier, single piece of material uh, which is really tough, uh, so you never have to worry about any particular weak points in them, and uh, they do have a certain style to them. There are some color kits available as well, uh, only in the kind of the the heel strap if you want to add a little bit of color to your fins, but it's not essential. It's only cosmetic. Um, but all in all, yeah, a really tough pair of fins, uh, nice and short as well. So if you're diving in shipwrecks or sort of in and around lots of people in reefs. Uh, uh, and you don't want to uh, sort of kick them in the face or anything, then yeah, these are fairly short compared to some other fins. They're not the lightest. Uh, they're actually negatively buoyant in the water, so they will sink, uh, which is a benefit if you have particularly floaty ankles uh, and you need to get some weight on your fins just to keep your legs down these will do them um, but yeah for traveling they're gonna be a little heavy not prohibitively um, 
but uh, yeah, they are going to be a bit more uh, sort of weighty compared to a, a lightweight pair of sort of snorkeling fins. But all in all, yeah, a good tough pair of fins, a nice amount of style to them, and a good amount of thrust. These are the Ziegel Recon fins. Check them out on the website, simplyscuba.com. There's going to be a link down in the description below to go check them out. Thank you for watching, and of course, safe diving.